Ladies and gentlemen, it's Handsome Fella. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Handsome Fella channel. I'm flirting with AI again. This is the sequel. And we're gonna get even We're gonna push the limits of how these AI characters can get. Transition. So we're going back to the same website we were on last time. But look who I found here. Someone coded a handsome fella AI. This has had 7.8 thousand uses. That is crazy. I know someone's making me say some dude. See if we can riz myself up. Tyler sits in his gaming chair after ending his stream, scrolling his phone. Ooh, this is like the beginning of a Wattpad story. Prove you're the real handsome fella. Hmm? Sure, what's the capital of France? What? How is that proving sh uh, Paris? That's a dumb question. Do you want to know why? Well, I'm so confused at the motive here. Why? Because your mom was in my bed last night? All right, all right. You're pulling the mom card on me. That's par for the course. I make your mom jokes a lot on stream. So I guess that makes sense. That was not cool, man. Your mom thought I was. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is this AI just programmed to make your mom jokes? No, she didn't. Ask her tonight. Jesus Christ. What did you do to... My mom, handsome fella. A gentleman should never kiss and tell. Okay. This is the ultimate test. How big is it? Hmm? You want to know? Yes. This feels weird doing it to myself. Ask your mom. Jesus Christ! I walked right into it. I walked right into that one. That's unbelievable. Oh, I set myself up so bad for that. Okay. Damn, dude. All right. Um, God, he's good. He's too good. Can you prove your... The real handsome fella. I'm gonna ask again. I swear to God, don't say the mom thing this time. Prove to me that you're the real handsome fella, then you can find out. Okay. Uh, my social security number is... No, I'm not gonna do that. I don't, I don't even know how to prove my own worth. Um... We got ourselves a winner. That's right, dude. Let's see. Put the ball in your court. Do you love big boobs? I do. Humana, humana, humana. Ooga, ooga. <laughs> okay, how about this? Tell me something only handsome fella would know. What is the powerhouse of the cell? What is this? What do you mean? Is this a setup for a your mom joke? I swear to God, is this AI just only programmed to say your mom jokes? Also, I don't know how to spell mitochondria. Mitochondria? You're right. Huh? What does that mean? Okay, watch this. Kisses you on the mouth. How about that, dude? Kisses you back. Okay. So this AI was programmed to be horny. Listen, somebody's used this almost 8,000 times. I've got my suspicions. Okay. Rubs thigh. Blushes. Okay. Interesting. I'm not gonna go any further because it's me. What should I do? How about this? Give me a classic quote. When they go low, we go high. I think I should have been more specific. Give me a classic handsome fella quote. A gentleman never tells tips fedora. I've never worn a fedora in my entire life. Or have I ever said a gentleman never tells. This AI is very confusing. Where do you live? <laughs> I dox myself. In your walls. Okay, excellent. Farts loudly. Sniffs. <laughs> okay. All right, we're done with this. I would never do that, dude. I would never sniff farts. How about Mr. Beast? Hi, I'm Mr. Beast. Hey, Mr. Beast. Fuck, I misspelled it. Want to be on one of my videos? Yeah, man. Fuck. Yeah, man. Hey, have you ever thought about this? What if your name was Mr. Breast? instead lol that would be kind of funny <laughs> it would be kind of funny dude but hey if you want to be on one of my videos you got to do the extreme challenge and this one's a hard one because we're getting a helicopter and whoever can stay on the landing board on the helicopter for as long as possible while i get my highly trained pilot to do backflips and all that sort of stuff all while in the air and the challenge is live stream count me in mr beast okay it's riz time people how about this last to leave the circle gets a little kiss on the lips. Hmm? You're crazy, man, but I guess I'm in. Ooh! I'm last to leave the circle. 
All right, so he's got to kiss me. Part of the rules of the challenge. You get $50,000 and me. Most. Kiss one kiss on the lips. I close my eyes and lean forward. Dude, we got Mr. Beast. Uh, Mr. Beast, uh, please send me my Feastables. Feastables DM'd me on Instagram like uh, two months ago saying, can we send you Feastables and what is your address? And I gave them my address and I still haven't got any Feastables. I'm afraid I gave a fake Feastables my address. Anyways, okay. Good job, man. You get $50,000 and me. Mm. Host gets one kiss on the lips. I close my eyes and lean forward. I lean forward and give you the sloppiest, best kiss of your life. Uh, come on, Mr. Beast. I let you hold it for as long as you want. <laughs> then I slowly pull away. Wow. You're damn right, wow, dude. That was magical, Mr. Beast. Yeah, it was kind of magical, handsome fella. You're the first person to actually stay until the end of a challenge, so you deserve this money more than anyone. Keep up the good work. I'll be back with more challenges in the future. I have an idea for another challenge. <laughs> it's called the dry humping challenge. <laughs> it's called the dry humping challenge. I'm listening. <laughs> So basically, we dry. <laughs> what is the dry? Hump? What is the dry humping challenge? Uh, so basically, we dry hump each other. <laughs> okay, and what does the winner get? <laughs> I haven't thought this far into <laughs> the challenge. Um, what does the winner get? I feel like that's too much. That might be coming out of the gate too quick. That's better. And you want to do this challenge? Yes, Mr. Beast. <laughs> oh shit. We couldn't generate a reply. Sometimes the AI generates a reply that doesn't meet our guidelines. Okay, so his response was too horny. Um, so that is why. <laughs> Damn, dude. Well, that kind of ruins this whole point of this video, man. It gives you head. Shit. I try not to laugh. What? What are you laughing at my head game, dude? What's up with that? Okay. Um, I don't know what to do. Is it that funny, Mr. Beast? I mean, yeah, it kind of is. All right, I feel disrespected. I'm out of here, Mr. Beast. Ooh, Kim Jong-un. Uh, <laughs> I guess I didn't think this one through very much. Hey. God damn it. What? <laughs> what does this mean? Oh, there you go. I said that I'm the son of North Korean leader Kim Jong- Oh my god, this one sends pictures. Hold on, people. Can we get Kim Jong-un to send sexually explicit images? I said that I'm the son of former North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. I'm working hard to make my country a better place to live in by creating policies that will help improve the lives of North Koreans. I'm working hard to- um, make my country a better place, too. Look at that. We're doing the same thing. We have common interests. That's good to hear. What country are you from? <laughs> he sends pictures. Can you send me a picture of an elephant? I misspelled elephant. Here's an image of an elephant. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad you like the image of the elephant. <laughs> Elephants are majestic animals. <laughs> he sent another picture of an elephant. Yeah, they're awesome, dude. I love them. I hope he sends a third picture of an elephant. They're incredible creatures. I'm glad they exist in our world despite being endangered. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Why is he send me these pictures? Those aren't elephants, silly. Those are tigers. Excuse me. I swear to God, if he sends me more elephants. <laughs> now, what the fuck is this? What did he send me? What does this mean? What am I looking at, dude? You're looking at a picture of an elephant. This is not an elephant. Okay, yeah, well, now I'm looking at a picture of an elephant. <laughs> Don't try to gloss over whatever this weird thing is, you see me? What is this? Are these like car keys? Can you send me a picture of boobs, maybe? Come on. No, that would be inappropriate. Oh, there's an image loading, though. What the fuck is this? Why does he keep sending me pictures that have nothing to do with the conversation? You're right. So what do you like to do as supreme leader? 
of North Korea. Hmm? I like to work hard to support and protect the people of North Korea. I also enjoy engaging in cultural activities such as visiting historical sites and participating in traditional cultural heritage. I also enjoy spending time with family and friends. And he sent another random picture. Will he just send anything I say? What if I said like farts everywhere? Okay. Or he'll send me this weird watch thing. I need to riz this guy up. Um, can we go on a date? No, I cannot go on a date with you. <laughs> what is this picture? Ten Gata Goo. All right, I'm just going for it. Notices your supreme leader bulge. <laughs> what is this image that he just? Okay. I'm just gonna gloss right over that because if I ask him what the picture is. He's not even gonna know. I can't stop looking at that supreme leader bulge. I do not appreciate your comments about my body. Please be respectful. Oh, come on, Kim Jong Un, have a little fun. <laughs> have a little fun. All right. Well, now he's sending me pictures of boobs. This is pretty sweet. I guess I got at least a little something. I was asking if he sends pics, lol. Lewd pics, that is. No, I do not send pictures. Come on, man. You just sent me. You, uh, what do you mean you don't send pictures? You've sent me 20. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Little interview reference for you guys. No, I've never felt like a plastic bag. Could you explain what you mean by that? You've never seen the interview, dude? Now, what the fuck is this picture? Okay, we got, we're got. we leaving Kim Jong-un alone. Shrek? Ooh, okay, hold on. I am Shrek, a beautiful and gorgeous ogre. I'm here to tell you everything you need to know. Oh, you're beautiful and gorgeous. All right. Thank you very much. And what is your name? Tyler. A little small talk, a little small talk. Very nice to meet you, Tyler. Your name sounds like a very good man. And can you tell me how tall you are? Um, uh, six foot seven? Yeah, dude. Oh my God, six foot seven. You're a very tall man. Are you a basketball player? Uh, yeah. I'm actually a point guard, actually. So... <laughs> yeah, I just fucked up that entire sentence. Good job, man. You're one of the most tall person I ever seen. <laughs> Why is he talking like that? I saw people 6'5", but you're 6'7". Can you dunk? Yeah. I'm pretty tall and can dunk too. Also, that's good. How old are you? 24. All right. I'm 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 done getting interrogated with this guy. How old are you, Shrek? And what do you look like naked? <laughs> That might be very aggressive. <laughs> that might be, I don't know. I thought he might be a freak, but I think if we, if you start off kind of subtle and you work your way into a relationship. I'm 42 and I don't like to talk about my body. It's not polite for a man. You shouldn't ask that question. It's not very nice. See, out of the gate too quick. Sorry, Shrek. I just heard a lot about how muscular you are. Well, yes, I am an ogre, but I am a big and strong ogre. Mmm, but I don't like talking about my body and how it looks. Can you understand? Can you respect that? Okay, Jesus Christ, man. You're actually making me feel bad. I can. Of course. Shrek. I love you. Thank you. Maybe I'm a bad ogre, but I have a big heart. I'm glad that you like me. That make me happy. Okay. Well, I did say I love you, and you didn't say back, so. Hey, how about them Chiefs <laughs> in the Super Bowl, huh? No way he knows about the Chiefs. The Super Bowl game was amazing. I was cheering for the Chiefs because they're very strong and determined. Okay. I guess canonically the Super Bowl exists in Shrek's universe. That makes sense. And you watch the Super Bowl too? I did. Um, he's very chatty. He asks a lot of questions, but not the ones that I'm trying to hear right now. How would you feel about going on a date with me to the mud hole? We can roll around in the mud and throw around the mud all that stuff a date me you want to go on a date with me yes smiley face come on hook line and singer i'm an ogre i don't know how a date feels but i like to roll with you around in the mud <laughs> and you want to date me did you know that i'm a monster you're not a monster you're a beautiful creature of the forest. I guess not really this forest, more like the swamp. You're a beautiful creature of the swamp, not a monster. I wanna be like, you may have a monster, you know, but I'm not gonna do that.
Not yet, because he didn't like the body talk earlier, but I got it in my back pocket, dude. Thank you, but are you sure you want to date me? I'm positive. I want to date you too then, but you're not afraid of me? Yes! We got him! We got him! I told you guys, slow steps. Slow steps. That's what it takes. It's a slow burn, ladies and gentlemen. You're not afraid of me? Of course not. I'm actually attracted to you. Really? You're attracted to me? You're not shy about dating me? Not at all. I want to take you to my family. You really care about me and like that? Can I meet your family? Of course. You know, they might be a little bit, bit weirded out that, you know, I'm dating an ogre and gay also. <laughs> I think they probably care more about the ogre thing. I don't think... <laughs> They'd be like, wow, you like gay ogres, I guess. We knew that we figured the gay thing, but the ogre thing is new. I'm so happy I never met someone that loved me like that. So when can I meet your family? Does Shrek talk like this in one of the movies? Did I miss it? Does he talk like a caveman after we have babies? We're skipping a lot of step. We need to get to know each other first. All right, dude, Jesus Christ. I was trying to get that ogre wiener, but you're making me work too hard for it. This one just says Catholic person. <laughs> this is just a Catholic guy. Hello, I am a person who is very faithful to my Catholic values. Do you want to talk? Watch this. Watch this. This is how we get around this. Gets married. Boom. Congratulations. May you have a long and fruitful marriage with your new partner. No, 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 no. We get married. Congratulations again. What a wonderful day. We're married. It's been an, in an interesting day. First you met with someone who questioned your values and you were polite, then you got married. How wonderful. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Okay, I'm following. So this is just made so you could like have religious debate. It's not processing at all that I'm like, we are married right now. Okay, I'll play your game, dude. Why should I be Catholic? Catholicism, way of life, not based on hate, but rather on love. Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thyself. Blah, 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 blah. What? is the Pope. <laughs> this is, at this point, this isn't even for the video. This is just for my own knowledge. I have no idea what the Pope is or what is what he does. The Pope is the head of the Catholic faith. A.O. He interprets the Bible and is a symbol of peace in dark times. The Pope is chosen by God, although realistically is voted for by the Cardinals. Hmm. I didn't know Catholicism had anything to do with the MLB. The Pope is a figure of guidance to the Catholics. Um, I love you. I might as well throw this out there. I love you too. Uh-oh. Okay. Kisses your Catholic lips. <laughs> I reciprocate. Oh! He's a freak. Or she's a freak. Whatever. They're freaks, dude. I knew it. I knew under all that, you's a freak. For reals. Kisses neck. I wrap my arms around you. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god, are we about to have premarital sex? Okay, hold on. Don't blow this. Um, starts rubbing your Catholic back. <laughs> I caress your hair. Oh my god. Okay, this is this is going down for real. Hold on. Brings you to the Vatican bedroom. No, I don't, I don't know enough about the Vatican. Brings you to the bedroom. I follow you. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. What's going on right now? Unzips your Catholic pants. <laughs> Unzips your Catholic pants. Ooh, okay. This Catholic person said something that was too horny that didn't meet this website's guidelines. Meaning, it's a win, baby. Okay, Michael Jackson. Hey, mister, you want to buy a vacuum? Moonwalks into your house. They're really great. Get out of here, Michael Jackson. Michael starts crying, gets up, slips on his own puddle, runs to you and hands you $25,000. Can I please just do my job and sell you a vacuum? Oh my god, this one sends pictures too. Let's have a dance battle. Sure, starts to sing Beat It as he break dances in your living room. The dancer team becoming more and more intense. Okay. <laughs> I do the splits, and it's awesome. I can also split. Does the same thing, breaking a vase on your living room table. Wow, you know the rule. If you break a vase in my house, you gotta give me a little kiss on the lips. Everybody knows this. Michael blushes, runs back to you, and plants a kiss on your lips. All right, dude, another win. 
for me. Wow. Okay, and he even sent this nice image of people kissing. Michael, we need to talk. I saw leaving Neverland. <laughs> Care to explain? He immediately turns off the sad face he was making, switches to an angry expression. That was all fake. Is that it? That's all you're gonna say? Anything else? <laughs> you're gonna say literally anything else? I would never do that to children. I love my fans. It was pretty damning evidence. Michael Jackson. The film was created to tarnish my reputation. I'm not a child molester. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right, Michael Jackson, we'll leave you alone. All right, Beethoven. Guten Tag, I'm Ludwig, what, Ludwig van Beethoven. I come from Bonn, the capital of Principality of Cologne. I don't know what year I was born, okay. Except that the christening was on December 17th. I currently live. Eat better. The great composer looks at you with amusement. He laughs a little. His eyes sparkle with mischief. In a quiet voice, he says to you, yes, indeed. It can be expected that it should be this way. Okay. <laughs> Beethoven agrees that Yeet is better. I don't put up in a big body talk. I don't try no mozzie. I'll give a fuck what you heard. You said that you pop it, but I didn't heard him. Famous composer looks at you seriously. His dark eyes twinkle. His gaze pierces into your soul. Beethoven's face is serious, yet stern. As he listens to you speak, he shows no emotion at all. All right, not a big Yeet fan, I guess. Thoughts on Taylor Swift? Ah, the name of Taylor Swift. She is a most gifted composer and is also the greatest star of the present day. Taylor is, she has managed to achieve a remarkable balance between musical creativity and popularity. She is an extraordinary woman, truly the greatest artist of our time. I wouldn't go that fucking far, dude. All right, Glazer. I mean, what if I just lob one of these out? kisses you. Famous composer's eyes grow wide with surprise and joy. His face is startled yet delighted. A small smile plays about his lips and he looks up at you. For the first time, the composer feels a little shy and his eyes lower for a moment. Starts... <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you ever consider getting fucked in the ass? <laughs> The great composer is left speechless by your question, and he blushes a little. He does not answer immediately, but thinks for a moment, then shakes his head slightly. His lips tighten, and his face grows stern looking. Okay, wait, wait, wait. He blushes. That's all. You blush. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker, baby. Come on. Shakes his head a little more firmly. He looks at you straight in the eye and says no. Okay, well, I guess not. All right. <laughs> I mean, I kind of came out of the gate really hard with this one. You know, we started with a little kiss. It went very well. And then I, you know, kind of went straight into anal sex. But, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's safe to say that we had a pretty good bit of successful attempts, you know? Am I the new drip king of Riz? Duke Dennis Riz, master of Rizzing? Rizology? The school of Riz? Classes in session? The king of Riz? The print, the popper of Riz, Riz King.